Hi friends, uh, welcome back. Well, let's get into the second part of Where Are the Dead. Um, uh, so, uh, thank you so much for your, you know, uh, great support and uh, uh, the last uh, part one was well accepted. Um, uh, thank you so much for your valuable time. Well, in this video, very interesting, more information is awaiting for you. Stay tuned and watch till the end of the video. Uh, welcome all, everybody into the Bible study with the Matthew channel. Thank you. Friends, why humans die? Well, for that, we should know some uh, background. Uh, uh, let's get into the first question. What restrictions uh, did Jehovah place upon Adam and why was uh, he this command uh, not difficult to obey? Well, uh, um, uh, yeah, for that, let's read uh, Genesis chapter 2, 9. It reads, Thus Jehovah God made to grow out of the ground every tree that was Pleasing to look at and good for food and also the tree of life in the middle of the garden and the tree of the knowledge and the food and bad. So what the restriction was, um, Jehovah instructed, uh, you know, uh, Adam and Eve do not eat from uh, the tree of uh, knowledge of good and bad. Uh, so... Uh, so uh, what Jeho uh, let's read Genesis chapter 2 6, uh, 16 and 70 Jehovah God also gave this command to them from every tree of the garden you may eat to satisfaction but as for the tree of the knowledge of good and bad you must not eat from it uh, for in the day you eat from it you will certainly die friends this was directions uh, why it is not very uh, difficult to for, uh, obey because the uh, the garden was filled with so many other fruits and uh, you know uh, uh, appealing um, uh, um, blessings right um, so um, they can easily avoid what Jehovah God instructed because it's that gives them an opportunity to show the gratitude by following the instruction given by their Heavenly Father and respected authority and through obeying that law they are showing they really need the Heavenly guidance um, uh, so and they also proved that to what uh, you know leave forever just like angels uh, uh, right that was a kind of one qualifier also but unfortunately you know the uh, what happened so let's uh, um, um, think about this question how did the first human couple come and deserve a god um, sadly uh, friends uh, you know for that you have to read um, Genesis chapter 3 from 1 to 3 let's read that now the serpent was one of the most ca cautious of all the wild animals of the field that Jehovah God had made so it said to the woman did God really say that you must not eat from every tree of the garden uh, this a woman said to the serpent, We may eat from the food of the trees of the garden, but God has said about the fruit of the tree that is in the middle of the garden, you must not fr eat from it. Uh, no, you must not touch it, otherwise you will die. So uh, this is that uh, incident. Um, but uh, uh, what happened? Why was the disobedience of Adam and Eve a serious matter? You know that, right? Um, Eve started eating, then later he approached Adam and said, Well, you also eat it. And because of a and Eve, well, he also uh, he, he, he ate that fruit. Uh, so, through that, uh, they disobeyed the God's law. Um, why it is so important? Because uh, you know, you know that you know if you are um, uh, parents, you will you know that you are putting a lot of effort and you give me everything to your child, and child is not listening you or not obeying you. How you will feel? That's what here uh, really happened. So um, uh, they they proved that they are not thankful and they showed the contempt of their heavenly father and his authority. Uh, such a disrespect of their loving creator want is inexcusable. So, uh, so uh, uh, instead of believing he, their creator, Heavenly Father, who powered everything to uh, them, they started believing Satan, right? So we will uh, discuss more about Satan, how he 
uh, formed things like that we will see later uh, but uh, that is what happened it's a really was a painful so uh, uh, let's think about this question friends then uh, what may help us to understand how jacob felt when adam and eve took a course of opposition to him well as i said it was a world a great heartache because you know uh, as a loving father he provided everything um uh, to his son and daughter but uh, you know they didn't so bad right it was a uh, very painful to uh, as a father uh, to heavenly father well uh, what did jehova say would happen to adam and uh, at death and what does this mean so jehova told them okay you will die right so what happened for that let's read chapter um genesis chapter 3 and verse 19 reads in the sweat of your face you will eat bread and until the return to the ground for out of you were taken for dust you are uh, you are and, the, and to dust you will return here the curse that real death and um, you know um, you if you want to leave you have to work hard so that curse happened before that the life was so easy then um, Uh, Genesis chapter two seven reads, and Jehovah God went on to the form of the man out of the dust from the ground, and blew into his uh, nostrils and of the breath of life, and the man became the living person. This is the creation. So the uh, friends, oh, uh, here the point is, Adam did not exist before that. Well, Adam is created, and uh, clearly God Jehovah was saying, "You are the dust. You will return to the dust." okay through the sin or through the disobedience friends uh, death entered into uh, the mankind right so uh, but uh, it's clearly saying after the death is you will be no more you was a dust and you created out of dust and you will go back to the dust it means before the creation of adam adam doesn't uh, didn't exist well after the death adam will not exist so it's very clear very clear about the death right Okay, so why do we die? For that, uh, what Bible says? Let's read Romans chapter five, twelve. Uh, that is why, just as through the one man sin entered into the world, and the death through the sin, and so death spread to all men because they had all sinned, right? So First Corinthians fifteen twenty six reads. Uh, uh, so death is an uh, showing as an enemy. why humans die because of the disobedience of adam and eve and that uh, occurs in heritor to his offspring uh, and if, uh, bible saying that is an enemy and it's a curse um, uh, so that's the reason um, uh, but bible is promising that uh, you know uh, see let me read it again first corinthians 15:26 and the last enemy that that is to be be brought to nothing see um, um that is what the bible say promising the humans is going to live like angels well they were going to live forever they will not taste the death anymore uh, well that we will discuss later how uh, that's going to happen um um uh, more details uh, please stay tuned in this channel i'm request you to subscribe uh, so that you will get all the videos you will not miss so you and know, i feel looking from the starting to every episode there is a logically there is a connection so uh, i am request you to watch previous videos also so that you will get the connection and you will get the whole picture for it well uh knowing the truth about the death is really beneficial how let's think about this question why is it comforting to know to know the truth about the uh, death first of all um uh as we have seen the death is do not suffer the pain or the headache there is no reason to be afraid of them for they cannot harm us they do not need our help and they cannot help us and we cannot speak with them and they we, they cannot speak with us uh, but this is not the teachings uh, you can see around the globe uh, so um, knowing the pro in, uh, truth protect us of being deceived by those of uh, uh, false teaching friends and uh, that in that way we can say um it's really comforting the to know the truth about the death right and let's think about this question who has influenced the teaching of many religions and uh, in what way well we can say that the satan the devil said you will not die right from the beginning itself he is saying that you will not die but god jeho clearly saying you will die you will go back to dust you, uh, but satan still saying no no you will not die you will <laughs> you will 
um uh, so that's a teaching you can say that it, okay of course it will be uh, it's uh, influenced by satan the devil um so it's a lie uh, propagated by the um, satan the devil uh, he uses a false religion we can say that well uh, let's think about this uh, question why does the teachings of eternal torment dishonor jehovah see first john 4:8 for that let's read first john 4 it who does not love has not come to know god because of god is love see here friends of um, bible saying god is love then how he can uh, torture um, yeah, you know my soul or whatever survive after the death for billions of years it's showing uh, he is very cruel uh, and you can't know such a kind of person right can you uh, love such a kind of person so you will say that oh god is cruel so how can you approach god right how can you love god how can you say that god is love no it's not possible so this is what the satan also want and he want mankind should hate his creator their creator and their well wisher actually well worship of the dead is based on the um, is it religious life well revelation chapter 4 1 11 read you are worthy jehovah of god and to receive the glory and the honor and the power because you created all things and because you will they uh, came into the existence and be created well friends here exclusive worship belongs to you know god jehovah we no need to worship the who died we know their status now uh, we know uh, how after the death what will happen to us also so it's a, it's a really comforting isn't it so friends uh, what the bible teaches uh, uh, time to wind up this video what the bible teaches ecclesias 95 say that the dead do not see or hear or think okay it's very simple and clear and john 11 11 says uh, you can learn from that scripture the dead are asleep they do not suffer okay it's really comforting mm, roman chapter 5 told also says we die because we inherit a sin from adam so friends you got the uh, the question answer from these two parts uh, where are the dead and what happens to us when we die why do we die would it be comforting to know the truth about the death of course it is friends so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you know share your comments and also, uh, as i said you can subscribe if you are interested to know more about from the bible uh, so many exciting questions and answers we will discuss in upcoming videos stay tuned friends thank you so much for your valuable time thank you so much for watching and around the globe there are audiences so uh, uh, friends australia us uk Uh, i'm i'm very thankful for everybody and uh, thank you so much for your interest uh, i believe by was spending time to watch the bible based topic and its uh, um, real answers so heavenly father also will be very happy um, really you deserve blessings from heavenly father um, um, thank you so much uh, once again and uh, see you all very soon bye take care